Good afternoon, Troy from TR Tech Tactical here. I just want to show you some uh, really cool garage sale finds I got for tactical and survival type situations. Um, this here you wouldn't think of as being a survival tool so much, but what if, what if one day they come to take your guns? What if you don't have any guns? Well, I'd prefer a sword or a knife anytime over nothing. And uh, I was imagining if I had no gun and all I had was this sword, which by the way has a deep um, blood groove in it, which means if you stab something, the, uh, the blood is allowed to come out. I know it's gruesome, but this is an important feature of something if you want to kill an animal or kill something with. You want to be able to allow that blood to come out quicker, which speeds up the death. And I was thinking, actually I was imagining what it would be like to sit up in a tree, Indian style, and pounce on a deer coming by if I had nothing else. And I waited for a deer to come by and pounce on the deer and plunge the sword through its back. Well, I'd rather have a sword than nothing. So anyway, I'll be going into further details on these guys later, but I paid $5 a piece for these. And um, now some of my normal viewers from the do-it-yourself world might be over here and they may, might be like, ah, why did he waste his money on that? He's just got no money. Well, because what do I do for a living? I'll make videos. So each of these $5 investments is gonna be a series of videos. I've got some really cool ideas for this coming up. Imagine slicing watermelon for a summer picnic. Uh, which, by the way, I've done before with swords. It's pretty fun, um, pretty impressive. Now these right now uh, are actually not sharpened in the least bit at all. This is duller, no joke, literally, this is duller than a butter knife right now. It's pretty ridiculous. It's good for playing around or training. Uh, it's not at all a sword. Now this has uh, a bit of a tip though, so I'm, I'm guessing the idea for this one is that it's to be sharpened up to here, right? And then up to here is just for strength. Now this one here, again, is duller than a butter knife, so I'll be working on that in the future as well. But uh, it's I got some ideas. Imagine throwing an apple, somebody throwing an apple at me, and I cut it in midair, and and cut it in half. So I've got some cool ideas coming up with the swords. Again, um, these are not high quality by any means. But these are about $100 a piece. So I've got $200 of swords here for a mere $10 investment. And not to mention the videos we'll be doing in the future. So hey, I think it's awesome. Now here's another tool. We're going from, uh, I, not to say I'm not excited about any, but I'm going from least exciting to most exciting. So we'll save the best for last. I've got here the Black Ronin from United Cutlery. And it is a, uh, I would call it like a battle axe or a fighting tomahawk, uh, survival battle axe. Either way, it's got 550 cord wrapped around it and the previous owner wrapped a whole mess of other cordage on it. Why? Because if you check out the reviews from the United Cutlery um, Black Ronin axe or tomahawk, the... 550 cord comes off on the first couple times you throw it. Now, this one here has been pretty hefty, heavily used and abused, but um, it does have a good feel. It cuts in deep. Now, if this was, this is a budget tomahawk, and I'll do a full review on this in the future after I've become familiar with it. Again, not a big deal. I paid five dollars for this thing, so not a lot of money. Uh, lost and um, I'm going to do quite a few videos with this nice video series coming up and a uh, proper review once I become com comfortable with it but from what I've seen already by, about the, the black Ronin um, it does have a good um, it's good for throwing it sticks in deep as you can see and I'm not really I'm not really hitting it hard it's 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 really got some heft and it really sticks in there nice. I mean, it's, it's a decent, for $42 average price, it's a good uh, poor man's survival axe. If, if you had to, if you were out in a survival situation and this is all you've had, well, 
it could save your life. It, you could really use this in a battle. What I like, some of the features, it, it's, it's, you can basically, it's got knobs for punching, high, fighting, hitting, uh, jabbing. Basically, you can come down, you can punch forward, you can, you can come down like this, this way. It, it's got a good set of features for fighting and self-defense. And from what I've understood, it's pretty good for throwing and cutting wood. So I've got a whole series of videos coming up on the Black Ronin, coming up in the future. And this was all good garage sale finds. And I was, I was pretty happy with this stuff. It came with a sheath. United Cutlery says right on it. United Cutlery is not top of the line. It is beginner's entry level, low end. But then again, I've got the, the SOG, the SOG hatchet which was only between 20 and 30 dollars depending on where you get it and that I really love so uh, nice find five dollars here now here here's the best of the best I've got a crossbow pistol all right now what I love about the crossbow pistol here it has a self cocking mechanism and I'll be showing you that in a later video but it's got a very simple I'll have to oh there it's got a very simple self-cocking mechanism, and um, obviously I'm trying to do this in coolest quarters, so we'll do this later. I'll show you how it works, and uh, I'm trying to stay within the confines of the camera and play with this. Anyway, this is an 80-pound draw, which is very impressive for a, uh, a pistol crossbow. 80-pound draw. Now, if this is the real deal... There are, from my understandings online, there are fake copies, and there are lookalikes. But the this one actually has patents listed on it. I don't see a manufacturer's name, although you never know with the Chinese. Uh, actually, this one says Taiwan. You never know on these things to be sure. What's the uh, you know it? not having a manufacturer's name on it doesn't mean a thing so I've got to compare this and find out if this is the legitimate one or the the copy but anyway what we've got here uh, oh I see sadly the back the rear sight is broke off so that's a bummer the the front sight is there the rear sight is broke off so I'll have to get a new one but I paid ten dollars for the pistol and 60 60 arrows now there's discussion whether you want to call them crossbow bolts or crossbow arrows. Um, archery enthusiasts want to start calling them arrows because they want to make them legalized for hunting. Makes a lot of sense. Bolts came from back in the day when they didn't have fletching on them and they were just a bolt fired out of a crossbow and uh, they were pretty lethal. They were made for armor piercing basically. Uh, modern crossbow arrows have fletching and are balanced and are much different. I've got five 12 packs never opened, so I paid $10 for this total. Now, from my understanding, this has an 80 pound draw weight on this, on this, uh, this bow. That is enough to take down a deer. Think about that, 80 pound draw on this bow. That can drop a deer. Again, I'll check it out, and if this is the, the, the real deal, the legitimate one, um, it cut it has a hundred and sixty two feet per second coming out of the uh, out of the bow once you pull the trigger hundred and sixty two feet per second which is impressive for a pistol all right and these run around thirty forty dollars so very good deal on Amazon I'll put the link down down below on where you can get these and I'm gonna do the research so I give you the right link to the proper company by the way and I'm gonna look on there and I'm gonna see if I can get the uh, the new site now I'll do a full review on this later. I've done a lot of study on this already and learned a lot about it. So I'll be doing a, a whole series of videos with this. But again, this is no toy. Uh, as far as the crossbow pistols go, this is one of the better ones I've seen and that I've seen the reviews on. So overall, I'm quite happy with my garage sale finds of the day here. This was all in one purchase, all in one day. So exciting videos to come. Watch for the video reviews, tests, and fun uh, things done with the things you see here. So, lots to come. Troy from TR Tech Tactical, and see you guys later.